Hello, today we're going to have a quick look at the Windows Firewall. Okay, and how to block programs. Okay, how do we get to those screens? Quite simply, we just type in Firewall over here. And then run it. And then we're here. The basic option in the beginning is like this. And we can basically turn on the firewall or turn it off. Okay, if we want to turn it off, which we don't really advise, we basically click on there, click on there, turn off, and then when we click OK, you'll get a little kind of like a notification, a little warning notification, but everything will be off. We don't want to do that, so we're just going to go back. Okay, now we're going to show you how to use some of the advanced settings. Okay, this brings up the firewall window. The advanced firewall window. In here, let's say for example we want to block Firefox from accessing the internet. Right now if we use Google we'll be able to see that it'll happily connect up to Google. There we go, Google's working. Okay, let's go over here and we're allowed to, shall we say, block programs by inbound rules, outbound rules, we're able to monitor the firewall, okay, lots and lots of things we can do. Let's, for now, create an outbound rule. Okay, so Firefox is not allowed to basically access the internet. We can do it by program, port, as in this case, we're using a program, so it's a program, click next, and now we need to find the exe file of it. Okay, Mozilla Firefox is in program files, x86, and it's the Firefox dot exe okay you do that for any program that you want to block oops that went a little bit quick okay now we could allow it block the connection now allow the connection you would think it's already allowed if we had created a rule before that had blocked every single program okay or block lots of programs now we can allow it okay or if we had blocked it before we can now allow it okay Let's click next. Okay, now you can apply the rule based on what kind of connection you have. Like, for example, if it's like a public location where you're connected up to a public internet, okay, you could basically block it there. If it's at private, you could make it, make it locked in the private scenario. Or when you're connected up to the corporate domain, it's also blocked. Okay, in this case, we're blocking it for all three. And we go ahead. Whoops. Okay, and give it a name that is identifiable, in this case Firefox. Okay, now if we try to connect up to Google, it'll what did we do? We allowed it. We're supposed to block it. <laughs> okay, click apply. And now, you see, unable to connect, it's blocked. Another option that could have been done, as you can see, it's got the little block sign on it. You could allow it if your network is using IPsec, like it's all encrypted, all nicely, happily protected. So you could basically click on there, allow the connection if it's secure, and then basically authenticated, integrity is checked, okay, do you want it encrypted as well? Okay, this one, null encapsulation, or you could override block rules, okay? But by basically clicking this entire section, you're stopping it from working unless you are actually cutting it up over IPsec. Okay, let's click OK and apply. It won't work because we're not on IPsec right now. In the future, we hope to show you a video about IPsec, but as you can see, it's not connecting, and we'll keep going on. Okay, now to allow Firefox to work. There we go, we'll just stop that previous process. Click over there, Google's working happily, and the little green tick box, these are all allowed. And you could basically turn off the rule. Oops. If you just don't want to be using it and basically Google 
will work because there is actually no action attached to it. Okay, we'll just finally look at a few things. You can block it based on application packages or a service. Okay, you can ensure only certain connections are allowed, like remote com computer connections. Okay, authorized users. Uh, the rule applies only to certain users. Okay, any exceptions to that? Okay, you once again you're back to the same previous thing domain private or public. You can choose it by which adapter interface. Okay, is it only for Wi Fi? Is it etc.? The scope of it does it apply to all IP addresses, remote IP addresses? And then over here you could have it by protocol type. Okay, TCP. IP version 6, UDP, etc. Okay, what port types, etc. Okay, that's just fine tuning your rule. Okay, hopefully, this is a short introduction that's helped. Thank you for watching.